Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am unboxing my first ever cloth and paper subscription from July 2020. Okay, so I am really new to the ring planning system. Um, if you've been following for a little bit, you know that I now have an A5, actually I have three A5 ring bound planners, one for content planning and one for everyday notes and things. And then my third one on the way is actually gonna be primarily for homeschool notes and budgeting. So we'll see how that works out. When I first started purchasing inserts for my A5s, the first place I went to was cloth and paper, and I did notice that they had a subscription. So I unfortunately missed the June subscription by like two days. So I'm picking up the July subscription. This is the box, my first time ever opening one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and when I'm done, I'll come back and walk you through everything that's inside. Okay, so here's everything that came inside my box and this is a lot of stuff like a lot of stuff so i'm very impressed with the quantity of things right off the bat so let's go ahead it does come with a little insert that tells me what's inside so i'm going to go straight down the list so i don't miss anything and share with you everything that i've got in my box okay so the first thing that it lists off is the august and september like 2021 style vertical weekly I am assuming that that is these two because it says September 2021 style, August 2021 style, but they do look different on the front. So I don't know if that was intentional or not. So let's go ahead and flip through here. Yep, there we go. So it looks like it's the last couple days of July and that's why. And then we've got the August page with important dates, bills, to-do list, goals, and notes. An August monthly spread and it goes straight into the dated uh, weeks, which I I do not use this layout yet. I'm really excited to try this. I love that there's a little priorities list on the side as well. Um, I think Kat over at Cat Plans uses this. So Kat, if you're watching this, comment below. Let me know if this is the, the layout style that you use. Um, and again, it's August and September. So right now on their website, you can buy January through December of 2021. I'm very curious to see if maybe in the September box, we'll get October, November, or even December and finish out the year. I don't know how that works, but that is really cool that they included two months of planning, dated planning right here in a subscription box. That alone to me is kind of worth the cost. Let me put those up here. The next thing on the list is their new password trackers. Now this, I don't know if I'll use this or not. The only place where I track my passwords is um, actually my budget planner because it never leaves my house. And this is a, I mean, that's a lot of passwords. I don't think I have that many websites where I would need that. But this is a really cool idea nonetheless, username, password, website. I can see being able to set this up and use it. If I do have a planner that I leave at home, I will. I could also see using this for homeschooling. So if you're a homeschool parent like myself, um, we have a lot of websites that we log into that I do have a username and password for. Uh, my son has his own email address that he uses as well. So, and, and he's always forgetting that password and to be quite honest, so am I. So I could see this being very useful. I don't know how frequently I would use it, but I like the idea and I'm really excited to give it a try. All right, the Architect Grid Pad. Now this was shared on the cloth and paper website um, and on their social media. So I think this one's not really a big surprise to anybody who follows them, but this is really cool. So it's project notes and, and exactly what it says, grid paper. And it looks like you can do a lot of different things with this. You could probably, you know, you can use this for home projects, which is what I would actually 
begin using it as. We are trying to reorganize and rearrange some things in our house, so that would be really useful. I think you could use this for organizing, you, you know, I think they, one of the examples they used was setting up your planner for the week. You know, if you're gonna be using stickers or decorations of any kind, you can kind of sketch it out before you get started. Anywhere that you need to sketch. So um, I used to be a brand developer and do a lot of graphic design, and one of the things that I would consistently work on was website design. So this would be really great for doing some wireframes for web design on paper, um, logo, development and branding like I used to do. I used to use grid paper like this all the time, so I kind of wish I had this years ago. If I ever get back into brand development, this would be phenomenal. I like the paper too. It's thinner, but it's not its not super thin, and I really don't think that it would bleed through in any way, shape, or form, so I really, really like that as well. All right, so there are monthly dashboard covers to go with the August and September weeklies as well. So these are like a see-through vellum. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I did have it right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, this the September one out. Actually, I'll do August, because I already opened August over there. And August is coming up. So I'm gonna wanna set that up really soon anyways. And that'll protect September. So this is a really, really thick vellum. This is not thin. It's very thick, it's already punched. When you order a cloth and paper subscription box, they ask you what size planner you have. So I did order a box specific for an A5 planner. So if you have a separate size planner, you will get inserts. From what I understand, you will get inserts for your size planner. Same inserts, just meant for your size. So if you have a classic happy planner, or if you have, um, you know, a, a personal size or compact, whatever size it is that you have, if they offer it, that's what you will get in your box. So again, I have A5, that's what this is. And this is really nice. And I'm excited to have some dashboards because I don't have any right now. I, I have some that I made on my own, but I don't have any otherwise. So it's kind of neat to see what they look like and to have a few to be able to play with. So that's really, really cool. There's also this clear, it's called an ink smear dashboard. I know it looks blue, but I know for a couple reasons, I know that that's just a protective film. First reason they posted it on Instagram to remind you. Second, Jen McIntosh, who um, had some of the cards and didn't realize there was a blue peel-off foam, showed a picture of it the other day. And then um, third, I used to work with a lot of plexiglass. Um, when I was in high school, I had a job as a framing specialist. Framing specialist. I was 18 years old and I could put plexiglass in a frame. So I, I've done a lot for that. Anyways, getting way off topic, this is really neat. Again, I was a graphic designer, so things like this with the, with the paint splatter and things like that, that really speaks to me. And then I guess you could probably do this for your dashboards. As somebody who has never used dashboards before, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I, I think that looks really cool. I think it probably could look, nah, I like it this way better, but there you go. So you've got the ink splatter dashboard as well, ink smear, I'm sorry, ink smear dashboard as well. There's a conversions dashboard, which again, I mentioned that I'm probably setting up my third A5 for more of a homeschool type thing. But last month, and I was really sad I missed out on this. So if you have an A5 planner and you got the subscription last month and you don't want it, comment below, send me a message on Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Last month they had a laundry dashboard and I saw it and I was like, oh, I can't believe I missed the subscription and I didn't get that. This month is conversions, which um, I actually just picked up some meal planning inserts for my everyday uh, A5. So this will be really great because I am constantly converting measurements particularly in liquid and weight for cooking and kitchen and I think this would be really useful for my children as well particularly temperature and distance as we'll be working on that in science class this year and math so that's really neat not as cool I don't think as the laundry one but still really I mean useful I would use that so that's really cool okay so here the next thing is these mink dots this says that it is the newest pack of transparent dots in the soft mink color. So I'm guessing that this is what's going to be coming out to the store soon. There's two sheets, they're just the circles in this mink color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one off and I'm gonna put it on, I'm just gonna put it over here on the September, or the August inserts here, this is technically July. So I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna actually put it right on top of the writing so you can see it is slightly opaque. And I put it on a Thursday so you can kinda see that through there versus like how dark that is right there on the Wednesday. But I love that color. It's a very soft, it, it's very fall-like to me. So as August transitions into September and October, I think this color is really, really going to work for me particularly. 
So, and that peeled off actually really easy for having not pushed it down. So these are really beautiful. I like these a lot. I have been using the cloth and paper flags and I've been hole punching them and putting them into my A5. I'm hoping I can do the same for these. If not, I have a little pocket in the back. I can slide these in because I could see myself using these a lot. So that's very cool. I'm trying to find places I can put all these things so you can see everything. So I'm gonna move some things out of the way because we haven't gone over them yet and I'll go over them in a minute. Make some room for all these good, I can't believe how much stuff, this is one box, guys. Like I just ordered one because I didn't know what I was doing. I know there's some people who order like two or three because they have different size planners. And I mean, I can't imagine having three of these. That's so much stuff. Okay, next up, the Mink Dot Grid Sticky Notes. Also something I'm gonna use a lot. Now, if you watch my Villa Beautiful La Isla kit unboxing, they had some sticky notes in there that had kind of a grid on it as well. And I love those, I use them all the time. This is really cool. So it's three by three square sticky notes with the mink on the top, which is a great spot to write your title. And then the rest of it is little dot grid going on there. So almost, it's kind of hard to see, I think. In my tiny little screen that I'm looking at, it's hard to see. I hope it's not too hard for you guys. So there's that really cool dot grid. I am loving this mink color. Kind of wishing I had an actual like ring bound planner in that color too. That is just stunning. Next up, I think everybody's been really excited about, I think they're called Ollie Block Clips. Um, I have never, ever ordered or used one of these. It is in a color called Manhattan. I think there's a second color that's gonna be coming out soon. I don't know. So it says, and I'm gonna read this direct for you because like I said, I've never used one of these. It says that you can use this as a pen loop, a bookmark, a card clip. The possibilities are endless. So basically a magnetic bookmark, I guess. And it looks like you can fold it down. Let me grab a Villa Beautiful pen here. Of course, what other pen would I ever grab? That fits really nicely. And if you've got it inside a planner, I could... Okay, cool. And also, hey, that color, this Manhattan color goes really good with my favorite gelato pen. So I don't know anything about these. I know that a lot of people were super pumped about these. I like that it has the... This is the... I think this is the inside. Oh, we can go either way. Okay, cool. But on the inside, what I'm assuming is the inside, it has the Ollie block logo on one side and the cloth and paper logo on the other. And I swear she said there was a second color coming, but I don't, I don't see anything about that on here. So that is really neat. And I'm excited to give it a try in my planner. Again, I've never used these before. I'm not a huge like paper clip person. I know this isn't a paper clip, it's a magnetic clip, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. So we will, we'll see. Okay, lastly in here are the journaling cards and I have four of them. This, let's see, we've got, so we've got an August month at a glance. Let me grab, I'd like to use a piece of paper so you can see these well. So I'll just use the password one. So we've got August and September month at a glance. There's two, so one of each. There's, and, and that's really neat, I like that. I don't know how I feel about it being clear, but that's really cool. There's this one here that says everything I know and everything I don't know. So that's, that's a neat looking one. I'm not sure how to use journaling cards, so you'll have to let me know. And then there's this one, which is kind of like a credit card. It says cloth and paper black credit card. Unfortunately, mine is all scratched up. I don't know if you can see that well through here. I don't know how to show that, but mine is pretty scratched up right near where it actually says cloth and paper, which I think that if you were really into journaling cards, that might be very disappointing for you. I don't use journaling cards and I, I particularly would not use this particular design anyways. This is not my style of, of decorative or planning. So to me, I don't care that it's scratched up, but something to know if that is yours, just take a peek if you've got one and, and see if yours is scratched. I don't know anything about their customer service. I imagine if there's something wrong, you could easily call and they'd be really responsive. They seem very kind so far. I've actually spoken with a couple of uh, people over there over, over time for nothing, non customer service related questions and they've always been very responsive and helpful and kind. So this is everything. This is, a, I mean, seriously guys, this is a lot of stuff. You know, huge notepad, two months of inserts, three dashboards, four journaling cards, an entire sticky note, these the Ollie block clip, which I, I, again, have never used, but so many people were so pumped about that. Transparent stickers I love, the conversions dashboard, password tracking. I mean, this is, this is a ton of stuff. So. I'm very happy with this. If you have something that you are particularly excited about, let me know. 
I think my most exciting thing in this, other than actually like full months of planning, is this combo right here. The the dashboard, vellum dashboard with this ink smear background. That is really cool. I cannot wait to put that in my planner in just a couple minutes here. But I'm, I'm very happy. I think this was well worth the purchase and well worth the price. I'm going to slide this down so you can see a couple more things here. Went a little too far up there. Definitely worth it to me. So hopefully you like like this subscription and this unboxing. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to see next month's unboxing, more planner related subscription unboxings or plan with me videos, I would love if you'd subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tap that bell. That turns on notifications. So you're always alerted as soon as a new video comes out. And as always for behind the scenes, sneak peeks and what I'm working on right this minute, head on over to my Instagram at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.